Let's begin. This is about the Joy validator. So Joy is a validator uh, library provided that uh, you can use in JavaScript on the front end or at the back end whenever you need to validate your uh, object, your uh, validate your input or validate any kind of uh, structure or variables. Uh, you can use joy it's a great library which has got all sort of features and built you need not put a lot of logic you need to just pick up joy uh, library and it has got all the features for example this one i've picked up this specific one because it has got this or uh, function which is going to be very useful uh, it is one of a kind of a check uh, just to make sure that uh, whenever you come across any such requirement, you know, Joy can do it in this way. All right. So what this particular piece of code is doing. So this is joy.validate. This is a way you can validate your uh, whatever you want to validate the structure that you want to validate the schema and this console. Uh, this is to log it on the console. Okay, schema is this. This we are defining the schema. But the schema tells Joy Validator how you want to the structure to be. Uh, this is the object, uh, the actual data that we are passing in. Okay, in this example, Joy dot object dot keys. This is telling Joy that we want an object. Uh, it will the input should be an object, nothing else. Uh, the keys should be email and mobile. Okay. Uh, email would take a string mobile would take a number uh, and uh, that would be an integer e string would be email so there's specifically email function which will check if it is an email which means it will check if there is an at in between if there is a dot go dot com or something some domain attached to it uh, right and this or functionality you're outside of the object will help uh, whatever you pass in the two values that you pass in will help uh, to structure it in such a way that either email or mobile is necessary either email or mobile is mandatory is the required field so i had this use case where either the email mo or mobile or in my case it was some other fields uh, uh, these either of the two fields should be there so I use this, uh, this is how you can use it. And so then you can validate it. For example, here, uh, this will return true or which also means that both are also possible. This will validate true. This will also validate. You'll be, you'll get an error when you pass nothing because or says that either this or that must be there. All right. Thank you.